Hello everyone. Today we are going to be learning how to draw a challah because what is one of our favorite types of bread? Challah. So as you can see here, I made a little bit of a diagram on how uh, to draw a challah because we don't have a literal, we don't have an actual one in front of us. So we're going to be drawing this from memory. So there's a bunch of key features that you need to remember about challah. First of all. There's bumps, right? Because, you know, it's a very bumpy texture. Second of all, sesame seeds. Everybody loves sesame seeds, right? And third of all, it's oval-shaped. So, we put that together. This is sort of a rough sketch right here. Sort of with all the things that we have here. Now, I like working like this. I always know, like, sort of what I'm going to do, something like that. And what I like to do, I like to work a lot with shading and a little bit of detail. I don't like too much detail because sometimes too much detail ruins the artwork. But just enough makes it very, very, very pleasant to see in the eyes. So here I can, I have a little bit of an example of something that you can do. Here's some shading technique, which I very much like. I like curving it around because then it looks a bit more real. Um, so... Let's go over to the next page here, where I draw a few uh, quick thumbnail sketches. Thumbnail sketches are small little sketches that I use in order to figure out what I want to do. Okay? So, here we have uh, sort of the big um, thumbnail sketches. This one was my most... The, the one that I wanted the most, this one was the good one. And this one was the one that was just a little bit of more of a close-up if I wanted to do a close-up. And here I just sort of made a little bit of example with uh, how to shade properly. So let's say you have a bill circle and the sun is right behind the circle. The circle is blocking the sunlight, hence creating the shadow. So it's always good to know like from which angle to make your shadow if you want to keep it consistent okay so after drawing and a little bit of revision this is a nice little hollow that we have here now I did end up putting it in a bit of like a bowl because I remember one time uh, my mom made holla in a bowl and it was delicious so I kind of did that and I could and also if you want to you can add some shading back here I did some add, I did add a little bit of shading up here and as you can see there's all the sesame seeds and I think this holla looks amazing thank you everybody for watching and I hope to see you again uh, sometime again on for the next video